Okay, hello and welcome everybody. This is Dr. Destiny here and we'll be going over the weapons for the second month of Year 2 Iron Banner. This is obviously one of the weapons we're going to be getting, but I will go over his inventory in one second. Okay, so Lord Saladin has returned, aka okay, Lord Salad. He's got quite a few items for us. For This is obviously for the Warlock, I'm not going to be doing it for the Hunter and Titan. But uh, we've got the Iron Companion Vestments, which is the chest armour with all three classes. Iron Companion Gloves, which is the gauntlets for all three, and then we've got the weapons. We've got the Finler's Peril, which is the hand cannon, very similar to Timler's Lash. And the Bretomart Stand, which is a heavy machine gun, which is kind of similar to Yolder's Hammer. Obviously, I won't know until the weekend, until I get them, and try them out. But we're going to go over the chest armour first. We've got increase in intellect, increase in discipline. We've got auto rifle ammo and sniper rifle ammo increase. Obviously Sniper would be best for that one. Arc Recovery, increase recovery for 5 seconds after taking Arc Splash damage, good for PvE. And Arc Armor based subclasses, aka the Stormcrawlers. Then we've got the Iron Companion Gloves, these are pretty cool as well. So we've got the increase in Intellect, increase in Discipline. Snap Discharge, increase melee attack speed, momentum transfer, Bonus melee energy on grenade hits and pulse rifle loader, which obviously everyone's using pulse rifles at the moment because they're OP as fuck. And now we've got the Finland's Peril, like I said, very similar to Tim's Lash from last year, especially with the look of it at least. We've got the Steady Hand IS, Stable Sight Optimized for Excellent Recoil Control, Fast Draw IS, Lightweight Design Good for Recoil Control, and then Agile Sight or Quick Draw IS, Light Faster Handling. We've got Relentless Tracker, kills this weapon that grants enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. Hand loaded, this weapon is effective at extended range. Small bore, which is the one you would definitely pick for this, increased range, stability, and obviously get reduced magazine size, and then you get further mag. I think that's probably the best perk to get. And we've got third eye, which basically means when you're looking down the sights, your radar is visible. Now we've got the Bretomore stand. Like I said, very similar to Yolder's Hammer from last year. We've got Acclise Ballistics, more range and impact, increase and reload. We've got Smart Drift Control, predictable and controllable recoil. This one is what you want on this. More range and impact on field track, or you can go over the second pack for that. Spray and play, very good. Fitted stock, increase weapon stability, land hate stock. So you probably do that for stability, or you do reinforced barrel actually, so you can get more range and you can get stability on the small drift control. You can't really see it with the text there, but you see that increases that ruffle barrel. So it'll be very good. And crowd control kills this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Very good perks for obviously a heavy weapon. Everything else is exactly the same with the weekly bounties where you get legendary marks, which obviously help you buy the vendor gear, which starts at 280. Primary kills, special kills, etc. etc. And then we've got the dailies, primary kills, win a match for 2,500, all very easy. Make sure you've got your shaders and your emblems on while you're doing this guys, because you get extra XP. And we'll be doing a video on Sunday or Monday I'd say, just to cover obviously the new weapons that they'll be there, that I'll be getting. Obviously I'll do a weapon review on them, and obviously I'll be showing you what kind of stuff i got as drops as well, because obviously the drop rates have increased with the patch so we should be getting ghost shells there's a few other things in there as well artifacts from nine balance so if i did manage to get any of them obviously highlight level on the weapons and ones with different perks i'll show them off and then obviously explain them in the, the weapon reviews okay guys if you've liked what you've seen please hit the subscribe button give the video a like and then tell me what you get at the end of the week from iron banner if you get anything good and what ones you find the best out of the weapons Thank you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.